Welcome to The Pleasure of Writing. I'm Will. I'm Max. And uh, we got a fun one for you today because I don't want to speak for you, but I know nothing about cars. And we're going to show you some car pens. Yeah, <laughs> everything everything that I know about cars, I learned as my, fo my 91 Ford Explorer malfunctioned around. <laughs> and so right. I, I learned what a master cylinder does. It controls the brakes <laughs> when mine... Stop yeah. controlling the brakes. <laughs> As, uh, the, so that's the, what's up. What I know about that's cars is, is you put a key in it and it goes. Uh, although I guess now they have the remote, whatever. And that's and true. <laughs> it will until it don't no yep. more. That's an engine. Um, but but for people who uh, so, maybe take it a little more seriously, correct. Um, we do get a lot of people coming in and, and loving fountain pens and loving cars. Um, Carmel is home to the Concourse d'Elegance, um, which is one of the most Famous, if not the most famous uh, car exhibition in the entire they named, world. They named the city Carmel. I mean, <laughs> um, so we we get a lot of people coming in who are interested in pens um, and who say, you know, my husband loves cars and loves a Bentley. So if your husband loves a Bentley, you have to buy him a Bentley. Bentley, Bentley. That's a rule. Sure I didn't make. I I didn't legislate it. Like that's what I'm saying. But I wish I could do something for you. But right. That's the rule. <laughs> I mean. That's all you can do. Yeah. Um, but we thought we'd start, I guess, with the PF2? Yeah, of course. I mean, can I, can, may I? You go so for it. this is the PF2 by Pen and Free. You know, they have a PF1. After the PF1 came the, the PF2. PF2. It follows a lot of conventions. So yeah. It's similar to that. Um, Pen and Free is a design company that, since the 1960s, has designed all but two of the vehicles that Ferrari releases. So, so it's they have designed pretty, pretty much... High. All the Ferraris, so you know that they're good at what they do. And indeed, if you were if you if you were just imagining, and you said, "What well, what do you think the people who designed a Ferrari would create if they had to make a pen?" It's exactly what you'd expect. I mean, the thing is sleek, it's beautiful, it's got this lovely um, kind of satin finish. Uh, there's a black version, but the this periwinkle blue is especially beautiful. I'm not even a big blue palette fan, but I love this. It's got the retractable clip. And every time somebody comes in here, we have to hand them a pin and free, and just so they can close it. Uh, the cap has this lovely magnet mechanism that, as it's closing, comes together so beautifully. It's a beautiful little click, and it's just one of the most satisfying things yeah. that we have going on. I, I always tell people now, gently close the pen. And they're always like, oh, I didn't realize it was fragile. I'm like, oh, no, no, it's not fragile. It's just that you're going to love that. They always want to slam it shut. <laughs> you know, like, just take it easy, will you? And then Slow you want to show off the, uh, the hidden clip there? No, I just want to do this. <laughs> Forever for the rest of the video. This yeah, the, the the retractable clip is great as well. I mean, it's really again another fantastic, highly engineered piece of uh, writing. Yeah, yeah. and um, so uh, we actually worked with the gentleman stationer uh, online uh, for a review unit of that, and he was happy to uh, you know accept one and write with it, tell us what he thought, tell everyone what he thought, uh, and it is a stainless steel nib. But uh, he himself mentioned that. While, you know, sometimes it's, it's a little bit of marketing to say it's like in-house tuned mm -hmm. or, you know, it's it's a marketing message. That is a very smooth, they do something to that that nib that other companies <laughs> they don't. Do, they do, do something. something to it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And it's, it's pretty spectacular. Um, so, and it retails it under 300 I think. It's mm -hmm. like 296 I want to say. Check the website, thepleasureofwriting.com. Look at the PF2. The website. Um, do you want to jump over to Shelby? Yeah, go for it. So this is the Bexley Shelby Cobra 427. It's a lot. Thumb a lot going on in the name of that. Four two seven. So it's it's based on the Mustang, the Shelby Cobra Mustang. Um, it's the Bexley Shelby Cobra Carol 427. Shelby. Carol it's the Shelby. Bexley Shelby <laughs> Cobra Kel yeah. Bexley, Bexley There's a Kel lot going on with this pen. And it's gorgeous. It's this uh, beautiful deep blue with kind of a swirl to it. Um, and the embellishments are fantastic. It's got a little... Uh, cobra. I was mm -hmm. gonna say a python, but it's not a python. It's, it's cobra. the. It's, I assume that's the, the thing. cobra logo. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and then it's got kind of a checkered flag pattern on the uh, bottom of the, the cap there. Um, it's a cartridge converter, um, but I believe it's not. Yeah, sorry. It is a captured converter pen. I don't think we talked about say, these. This actually, I don't may believe, comes out. Um, this is. Basically, essentially a piston filler fountain pen, and it's gorgeous. It's terrific. Uh, they made 427 each of the rollerball and the fountain pen. Uh, you can no longer get them anywhere, but here at the pleasure of writing, we have like the last seven in the world. Um, they're on our website, so check them out if you'd like one. And again, it's another one of those pens that in person it's beautiful. It really yeah, is. You have, you have to see these things in motion. You have to see them with your own eyes to really appreciate. 
And then we have this. I don't know. Not a pen. <laughs> Not a pen. This is a car. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Looks like a racy car. Uh, so we do Bentley. Like do you want to do the white one? I'll do the. I'll hold it. Bentley's. I'll hold it up. If that'll make you happy. <laughs> uh, so this is a. Uh, is it Bentley Faber Castell? Is it Faber Castell Bentley? It's a. It's a collaboration between Bentley and Faber Castell. Graf on Faber Castell. Yeah. Graf on Faber Castell. They're yeah. putting this together. Um, I'm just not sure which one comes first. Which well, on the on the calf, it does say Graffa Faber Castell X Bentley. I don't know which one you have. This is the Barnado mm. um, limited edition. It's a beautiful green finish to it. We have a hunter uh, green fountain pen. It's it's beautiful. Uh, and again, we get a lot of people that they come in see the Bentley logo on the calf, say, "Oh, I want a Bentley," and and then we have no choice to but to sell them one because yeah. you have to own. The Bentley fountain pen if you own a Bentley automobile. It's, it's the rule. I didn't make it up. You want to put that in your glove compartment. Right. And have that available for yeah. signing yeah. autographs. Absolutely. Whatever you sign. Yeah. But this is a uh, this is more of like a kind of a pearly white guilloche, um glossy finish as opposed to the matte. Yeah, this is a matte kind of guilloche finish. Uh, there's a nice texture to it. Um, feels really good in the hand. Uh, cartridge converters. So feels... Really essentially. So you Great. say, but let's yeah. confirm. Absolutely. All right. You yeah. check out this time. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the final thing we want to talk about is I, it's kind of disappointed us because uh, Mont Blanc has the great characters um, Enzo Ferrari. And the fountain pen is impossible to get. Uh, we just can't get them. They're just, they barely exist. We'll keep trying. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, absolutely. We're we're we we've got them on order. We want them badly. That's part of um, what we do. But we do have the Enzo Ferrari writing pad. Uh, it's a nice journal. Kind of got a uh, lovely silver gilt finish. Obviously, stands up on its own, which is a nice. Which is a nice feature <laughs> sure. of all of all Mont Blanc <laughs> yeah. stationery. Absolutely. Um, so that's kind of. I mean, that's where my car expertise ends. These are some. Oh, these are some sort of expertise. car and automobile adjacent. Writing influence, yeah. Yeah. which is um, fun, especially all, for a place like this where the culture is so vehicle oriented. Yeah. Well, and all make great gifts. I mean, I think that they're like we said, the the Pininfarina is in the three hundred range. This is seven hundred, probably a thousand. Um, you know, if if you ha if you know a car aficionado and they have all of the automobile accoutrement that you can think of, uh, it's a nice kind of complimentary gift of hey, this is a Bentley fountain pen to use since you drive your Bentley or or you if like your Mustang. If somebody's into Bentleys, you either can get them one of these or you have to get them a Bentley. Yeah, that, that's another rule. So that maybe we didn't make up baby so. steps <laughs> a little bit. Um, we also have some Ducati, some other you know kind of uh, really interesting uh, rollerballs and, and ball points in the store. So come on by and check them out when you can, when you stop in Carmel or visit us online at www.thepleasureofwriting.com uh, and follow us on Instagram. Um, thanks for the comments, likes, subscribes, really appreciate it. And we will talk again soon.